Hey guys, it's I'm Victoria and this is my very first makeup tutorial. It's a Valentine Day tutorial. So if you want to know how I did all this, then keep on watching. Okay, so I have already clean toned and moisturized my face. Now I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for combo skin. And I'm going to take it this my T-Zone. Just where I normally get oily, and plus I have big pores, and that really helps minimize my pores. You get in the ridges of your nose, just so when you go to do your foundation, it helps keep it on there. And now for some tone correcting. I'm going to go in with this NYX. I'm going to use the green for redness. Basically, I just color tone my T-zone because it's where my acne and the redness appears. Now I'm going to take this True Match foundation by L'Oreal and color Natural Ivy Ivory Natural Ivory C2. I just like to do dots all over my face with it. I'm really not being precise with this. I'm just putting it all over my face. And when you guys go to get foundation if you don't know how to find foundation always match it to your chest area and not like your not this part of your arm or your neck because you want it to match it to your whole to the rest of your body and you don't want to be a color off because you just look weird walking around with two different skin tones. Now I'm taking this beauty blender. Bye. And you want to bounce the foundation in. You don't want to rub because then you're just rubbing the foundation. What I like about this foundation is that it's very buildable. You can make it look like your skin tone, or if you want to, you can build up to full coverage. But I normally just do one layer. And always get your neck and roll a thumb when you do your foundation. So blend it in to where it doesn't look like your own foundation. To where you can't see the lines of foundation, I should say. Now I'm going to go in with concealer and true match. True match. This is in the fair, fair to light, and you, and actually this goes with the foundations W one, two, and three. I'm not really using this for coverage, I'm just mainly using it as to highlight the points of my face just to add some depth, deafness, deafness, add some death, death, or however you pronounce that word. I also like to use it as an eyelid primer. When it comes to concealer, always go a shade lighter than your foundation. Or just use any shade that you want that's lighter than your foundation. Makeup has 
no rules. And if it did, then I think every makeup artist in the world has broken at least one of them. Or multiple of them. Or all of them. So go ahead and break every wall of makeup. Because it can always come off. And now I'm taking this L'Oreal True Match again. And W2. I'm using this e.l.f. Professional Total Face Brush. I'm going to have uh, all the products that I use in this video down below. So if I don't mention anything in the video that I'm using, it'll just be down below. And I'm just powdering this on my face so I don't rub any of the concealer away because that would really suck if I just messed all of that up now that that's done I'm just gonna go ahead and do my entire face and kind of get the edges of your nose now I'm gonna go and do my brows with this elf Brow eyebrow kit in medium Maybelline the blush nudes. I honestly love this palette. I'm using shade right here, so I'm just tapping that all over the lid. I'm gonna take this color right here. Now I'm just gonna start building up the shadow, put that in the crease, well all over the lid and the crease I should say. Using most windshield wiper motion. Then I'm going to take this palette by LA Colors. I'm going to use this color right here it's like a mauvey pink color Very pretty place that in the V for my eye. I'm gonna take the other and then just blend it out. Now I'm gonna go in with this purple color purple color right here in the same palette. And I'm just gonna add a little more dust to the outer V. I'm honestly just doing tapping motions. I'm not even picking up the brush from my lid. And I'm gonna go back in with this color right here. And just gonna put that in the inner corner just to light things up. Then I'm just gonna go back and make sure it's all blended. Now I'm gonna tight line my eyes with this Maybelline eyeliner. I honestly just I just use small strokes when it comes to tightening my eyes. Just so that I don't poke my eye with my eyeliner because that would not be fun. Just 
take your time. Get it how you want it. I have to go back with this brush and use this side and just blend out the liner. Just give it a softer effect. I'm just going to take this and just do my waterline. I like to do the first half of it and then go in and blend it out. I'm going to take this Great Lash by Maybelline and very black, waterproof. Okay, mascara is done. And I like to take a spoolie. This is e.l.f. Professional Eyelash and Eyebrow Wand. And I like to go and brush through my. Eyelash without hair to that good to my spoolie. Personally, like this look because it gives a more prettier, fanned out, wispy look to my lashes. I just do this when I'm all done with my mascara. Okay, now I'm just going to take take my powder brush and just wipe off any excess powder eyeshadow that I have on my face. And now it's time for Bronza. I'm going to take this Rimmel Rimmel Rim. Remuel London Remuel London Natural Bronzer and Sunlight Oh my cheek I love this bronzer it's perfect for my skin tone. Gives me a nice sun kissed look. I like to get near my hairline so it mimics a small forehead. Because my round face makes me have a large forehead. And sometimes it's cute, sometimes it's not. And you always want to blend down your neck. Some on my nose. Not being precise, just going sweeping the sweeping motions. Nothing fancy. Now I'm gonna take this cover girl and shade and cheekers, I think. I'm not sure. I think it's cheekers. Give me a little bit of color to my cheeks. You don't want to go overboard with your blush. I mean, you can if you want to. Do whatever. 
you prefer. I just prefer not to. Now I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow and I'm gonna use it as highlighter. Tear that, just add a little kind of brightness right there. Bridge of my nose. And what's over left, my key. And after that, I like to take my beauty blender, it's still a damp, and I just like to soften up the highlight, especially since I have very oily skin, it just helps make it a little bit more subtle and not look like My f and now look, it makes it look like my face is not look like a disco ball, cause I ain't cute. This lipstick by Maybelline in Pink Pony. And I'm just gonna take this brush again and just make sure everything's just blended together. Okay, well there you go. I hope you like this makeup look. I think it turned out pretty good. I love the colors. 